we're used to seeing pictures of Apollo era spacecraft, that is the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo spacecraft splashing down. But they very nearly didn't. One of the little known landing systems that NASA put a lot of effort into in the early space age is the paraglider landing system. When it came time to figure out how to land the Mercury spacecraft, NASA considered a number of proposals. One came from a research group at the Langley Aeronautical Research Laboratory. It was for a deployable wing that could turn the capsule into a controllable gliding vehicle. It was known as the paraglider. It was a two-lobe, single curvature, suspension load wing that combined the slowing benefits of a parachute with the rigid flexibility of airplane wings. It could turn the blunt-bottomed capsule into an aerodynamically sound vehicle capable of gliding, under pilot control, to a smooth runway landing. It was an appealing solution to the question of how to land the Mercury capsule, but unfortunately it wasn't feasible given Mercury's tight time frame. NASA elected to go with the simpler, if less sophisticated, parachute and splashdown method. But splashdowns were far from ideal, forcing NASA to rely on the US Navy to find and recover astronauts at the end of a mission. So, in 1961, when NASA started planning its second manned spaceflight program, the paraglider stood out because it promised to make splashdowns and the subsequent recovery obsolete. It also promised to put the astronauts back in control of their landing. Developing the paraglider started with small-scale tests. Model Gemini capsules with paragliders were dropped from the tops of scaffolding and eventually helicopters so engineers could see how different designs generated lift and directional stability. This initial round of tests yielded a mix of successes and failures, but nothing could dampen NASA's desire to get away from splashdowns. Undaunted, the agency pressed forward with half- and full-scale tests, which were marked by ripped sails and lost test vehicles. It wasn't long before NASA ditched the paraglider altogether. Development just couldn't keep pace with the rigorous Apollo program. Nevertheless, NASA pressed on with manned testing the Gemini test tow vehicles, TTV-1 and TTV-2. But by the time these man tests proved that the system could work, it was the end of 1964. There was no saving the paraglider. The Gemini paraglider landing system. It would have been wonderful, but unfortunately it never happened on the way back from space. Have you heard of any strange stories of the early space age that you'd like to know more about? Leave a comment below.